Good day to each and everyone, especially to our dear instructor, Mr. Cesar Estrope. This is Ed202, The Teaching Profession. Today, I am going to present to you my chosen topic, which is values formation that includes the cognitive, affective, psychomotor dimension, training the intellect and will, Max Skiller's Hierarchy of Values and Hierarchy of Values. This 5E module is prepared beforehand by Ms. Desi Jane Ehe and validated by yours truly. But before that, we are first going to know the learning outcomes. At the end of the lesson, the students are expected to first identify the three domains of learning and Max Keeler's hierarchy of values. Second, differentiate the three domains of learning and develop skills that are suited for each domain. And third, integrate the relationship of each domain and how it contributes to training the intellect and will. And lastly, evaluate the usefulness of the domains of learning and Max Keeler's hierarchy of values in everyday life. What I know, the new information that I learned in the previous 5E module on values formation has led me to the conclusion that having values extend beyond simply upholding moral principles and performing charitable gestures. For a much deeper understanding, this is a more complicated and extensive topic that needs to be properly explained and supported by different ideologies. Values formation is also adaptable because it may be used in a variety of contexts, including learning and behavior, respectively. With that, educational psychologist Benjamin Bloom developed a theory known as Bloom's taxonomy that sought to categorize the stages of behaviors in learning. This taxonomy makes it easier for teachers to determine the intellectual level at which the pupil is capable of working. As they work to advance the top three levels, it also enables them to ask additional and more specific questions and formulate instructions that are intended to enhance their critical thinking. As stated in the Bloom's taxonomy, there are three domains of learning, and these are the cognitive, affective, and the psychomotor domain. Cognitive is primarily concerned with the mental or the thinking process of the learner, whereas the affective relates to the feelings, the emotions, and the attitudes, and how we deal with things emotionally. And the psychomotor involves physical movement, coordination, and motor skill areas. Here is the representation of the cognitive, affective, and psychomotor domain. In addition, values formation, more particularly, is the development of a person's cognitive and appetitive abilities. According to St. Thomas Aquinas, the mind proposes and the will disposes. This only means that our intellect supplies the ideas and our will implements the ideas. Training of the will must primarily be self-training, which calls for restraint and moral behavior. The hierarchy of values that were categorized by the German philosopher Max Killer, who is best known for his work in phenomenology, ethics, and philosophical anthropology. This is Max Killer and his hierarchy of values, categorized into pleasure values, vital values, spiritual values, and values of the holy. So Max Killer has classified these values into four categories, starting from the bottom to top. These are pleasure values, vital values, spiritual values, and values of the holy. Pleasure values is the agreeable against the disagreeable. Vital values is the set of beliefs and principles of action in a person's life, illness, and death. Spiritual values, on the other hand, is the integrity values of the human soul consisting of the altruistic, humanistic, personal, divine, and affective values leading to the spiritual growth of personality. And lastly, values of the holy. 
it refers to the sacred and hallowed beliefs, some things which are objects of worship or veneration. What I want. So based on my evaluation on the previous 5E module, I can tell that it requires some additions and adjustments for the students to properly comprehend the lesson significance. So additionally, there are some adjustments that need to be made, particularly to the instructions and the assessment tasks. But all in all, um, it has been good. The topic was well explained and had been clarified and had established the right standards for the teaching and learning process. What I have learned since we can't just say that building and developing values is an easy notion, I have learned that it really demands openness and deeper understanding throughout my validation of the 5E module with the topic Values Formation. This is due to the fact that forming values affects practically every element of life, most especially culture, which has connections to both the teaching and learning process in terms of communication and taking action. As a future educator, the lessons that I took away from this 5E module about values formation and the various aspects that go along with it helped me think more clearly about how I will properly integrate values into my own teaching technique so that my students may use it in their everyday lives. It also helped me to realize that while being a complicated subject, values formation and values development can be easily comprehended if one is motivated to do so. That ends my presentation. Thank you and God bless everyone.